So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you 8 new things coming to FIFA 19 and the just general universe of FIFA 19 and all that jazz in various game modes. There's been a new update recently, there's been plenty of things changing and I'm going to be bringing them all to you in this little video. There's, I'm not going to lie to you, some of them are kind of small changes but things that did need to change. There's one major big um, bug that's been fixed as well. If you go on to enjoy the video, slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel but first of all there's some big news as far as the esports scene is concerned the EPL is going to be starting across the course of this season now this is extremely confusing for me because I call the Premier League the EPL anyway so the only differentiation here is that E is in lowercase whether or not that can be distinguished in speech is I, 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 don't, what, I don't even know what I'm on about basically though there's a new E League uh, for FIFA esports Sports for the Premier League. It is basically what it is and it looks really really cool as well it was announced on the 4th of October so I, I, I'm not sure when this video is going live but certainly within the last two days it was getting tweeted by all of the Premier League teams it'll be interesting to see whether it then dips down into the Football League as well a little bit later on but the main premise of it is that each team is represented by an esports player on both Xbox and on PlayStation as well so if you're a Liverpool fan you can take part in the sort of the qualification period and you can try and represent Liverpool because that's the team that you support or Brighton or Huddersfield or West Ham or whatever team you happen to support which is really interesting actually and it'll see quite a lot of the UK based esports players anyway who are signed to actual esports teams and, and etc and stuff like that actually representing their teams that they support which I think is really cool really cool idea all 20 other teams are taking part in this e-league across the course of the season it's going to be going on from I think November till March or certainly December till March that's when it ends though is the big grand final now I'll take you through the different stages and if you guys want to get involved there'll be links down in the description below that take you to information pages on EA Sports and maybe give you a bit more of an insight on how to get involved basically how it starts is there are online qualifiers 320 players from each platform go forward into the next round which is the club playoffs and this is basically the part of this entire journey where the clubs actually pick and choose the, the, the players that are going to represent them. All the players themselves represent, choose the team, sorry, that they're going to represent. After this stage of the proceedings, you get one from each. So one player from the Xbox side joins each team and one player from the PlayStation side joins each team. So you end up with 40 in total and 20 per platform. So for instance, Arsenal will have one PlayStation player and one Xbox player all the way through the 20 teams in the Premier League. And then that is where we end up at the EPL final where they all play against each other obviously platform dependent and whoever comes out on top wins the whole thing I don't know if it's in a league format I don't know whether everyone plays each other or whether it's a more of a knockout system I'm not entirely sure or whether it's seeded in that sense but it should be pretty cool and it's huge for the esports team it's the inaugural one this is the first time they've done anything like this so they have obviously done esports world cups of EA and such like but this is the first time it's been based around an actual league so whether we'll see this now in the Bundesliga or La Liga or Serie A in FIFA's to come or on this FIFA we'll have to wait and see but personally I think it is a very cool idea. Now one other huge thing for me that has come out recently is that the finesse bug has been fixed. Praise the actual Lord. I cannot bet finally this was honestly one of the most annoying bugs there has ever been in any FIFA. The only thing that's ever exasperated me more was the freeze glitch from career mode on like FIFA 12 or FIFA 13 or whatever game that happened on where you get to a certain point in career mode and your game would just completely crash and you'd lose like two seasons worth of work. This was so frustrating. The amount of times I was in a one-on-one -on -one position with a player. It's happened to me probably 20 to 30 to maybe even 40 times in my Wolves career mode series on FIFA 19 where you'd basically be one-on-one, -on -one, you try and drill the ball across the goalkeeper's body or you just go for a powerful shot and for some reason without holding RB the player will just finesse the ball anyway and when this happens it's also very inaccurate. I've only ever scored once from this happening and out of like 40 times that it's occurred. It's usually a very slow shot, it's usually very inaccurate and it's obviously just not the type of shot you were looking for. If I wanted to finesse the ball I would have held RB down. They have finally fixed that in the most recent patch that came out a couple of days ago so that shouldn't be happening anymore and it would obviously have impacted quite a lot of esports tournaments if it was still within the game so I understand why EA were very quick to get rid of it. 
Number three is the J Ling's celebration has been added. I don't know why, it's, if I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, I, I, I get why, because it's a celebration that people know, and it's Jesse Lingard's trademark celebration. I'll put it in the screen uh, in the background for those that haven't seen it or don't know what I'm talking about, but it's very, am I the only person that doesn't remember the last time a celebration just randomly got added? To FIFA, I, I don't know. I, I just don't remember this ever happening before. If you were going to put it in the game, why not just have it from the start? I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's a celebration that's been going on for a while, so there we go. It, it has been added. We've not seen the Deli Alley celebration. I don't know whether this means we'll get some different celebrations added, some of the Fortnite dancers, or as I mentioned, the Deli Alley celebration. Let me know down in the comments section which ones you would like to see implemented to FIFA 19 during maybe the course of the game cycle. A couple of smaller ones that were getting on my tits on career mode but also in other game modes as well. Neymar's name for some reason, uh, especially playing for Brazil but also when you were managing Paris Saint-Germain, would only come up as Junior in the in the squad section. I, I don't know, his name, yes his name is Neymar Junior, I understand. It's not like, it's a different system. The Brazilian name system is, is slightly, it's not like his surname is Junior. He is just a Junior of the original Neymar. Do you know, I, I don't know who the original, I assume the original Neymar is his father. However, it isn't actually his surname, so it was coming up with Junior. It's now been reverted back to actually saying Neymar. In career mode, the player of the month uh, system was very, very flawed, where you were basically getting players winning the player of the month for a month that hadn't happened yet. So people were winning player of the month right at the start of October, for October, which obviously makes it should be for the month that we've just had. So that wasn't really making much sense. I also noticed during career mode that people were winning player of the month awards when there wasn't actually any games going on. Like I saw a Premier League player of the month award for June and obviously there aren't any games in June. So I don't know whether that was part of that glitch. If it is that part of that glitch, then that has now been fixed and it actually represents the right month now. A couple of cool things that are UEFA license related now, and the actual Super Cup graphics have been added to the game. Beforehand, I'd never actually played the UEFA Super Cup before this uh, was actually introduced, before this fix was introduced, but I assume it was just quite generic graphics, or it was using the Champions League graphics instead of UEFA Super Cup ones. I'll leave some screenshots in the background, but they actually look good now, and they actually are the ones that represent the UEFA Super Cup in real life, because it is branded slightly differently to the Champions League, and obviously very very differently to the Europa League, so it's nice to see that they've actually done that and added the trophy and all that jazz. In fact, I think the trophy was in there anyway, it was just a graphics pack that was lacking, but yeah, they've done that now. And also, apparently there was a bit of an issue when it came to the Champions League anthem playing A, at the wrong time, B, the wrong part of it, and also C, it playing when you hadn't, when you hadn't actually progressed to the next round. So it's, I think it's meant to play at the end of the group stages if you get through, and it was playing for people who hadn't actually got through, which is a bit of a kick to the balls, really. You've just been knocked out of the Champions League, and then it's taunting you by playing the Champions League music after you've been knocked out, which isn't exactly ideal. That has now been fixed, and it's playing at the right time. It's playing the right part of it now as well. And I think it also wasn't playing at certain stadiums too. It was a bit of a shambles, but they've got that right now, and they fixed some of the bugs. Generally speaking, this patch was really to do with fixing bugs rather than changing gameplay, which I like because I like the gameplay on FIFA 19 right now. I don't think it needs to be fixed all that much so I'm glad they're focusing on the bugs and the glitches and stuff and the final thing the most important thing out of all of this is that Petr Cech no longer wears his helmet during contract negotiations it annoys me I'm not gonna lie I could have made a video out of that situation but there we go could have banged some views on that but it's done it's gone his helmet's gone he made a scene of it on Twitter and said he would have rather worn a tie instead I rate that Petr Cech you have a very good social media team slash just a sick social media account but they have changed it and they've given him a nice red tie. It's nice to see the career mode developers are focusing on the important issues here. Anyway, regardless of that, we're pretty much done here. Those are eight new things coming to FIFA 19 in the first set of patches in the first or the first patch and the first set of updates if you like mainly just bug fixes and stuff that was not really functioning properly that now is i guess let me know what you think about them down in the comments section below and let me know what you think needs to change in career mode not necessarily talking about game modes and stuff they're not going to implement those during the course of the game cycle but what things do you think need fixing you can always make a video on that and try and pass it over to ea if there's stuff that frustrates you on any of the game modes on ultimate team pro clubs career mode 
on flipping survival mode on kickoff whatever floats your boat if there's something that annoys you drop it down in the comments section below if you enjoyed this one though slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel it's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out you can also follow me on social media these days too my twitter handle is at the official fng and my insta is the same links are down below but it's been an absolute pleasure ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye I've been smoking and drinking yeah. Say the weed and the voice got me thinking Skeptical Boy, you better know when I'm under the influence If I say shit, then I meant it all Had a flashback when I used to kick ball When the coach told me I went technical Man, I lost all the air in my lungs And it's like man took a low blow to the testicles Now you see the spare time, I invest it all To the music, dug deep, now I'm seeing improvements Spill thoughts on the ink on the page And it feels therapeutic, yeah